Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we will discuss about dieback fungal problem in mirchi farming. Actually, this particular um, uh, fungal disease is observed in India and the entire world in all parts of the world only. Actually, you have to observe in particular um, figure. Uh, this disease is called that uh, dieback disease. Yeah, we will see what exactly this um, what exactly the disease is about how we can gonna control it and what happened to our plants after attacking the disease and all we will see generally this disease we will observe in all kinds of crops but in mirch it is having a bit um, uh, bigger effect on that particular mirchi crop the, this is observed in all the seasons like rainy season winter and um, summer season crops we will get this it is mostly affected in flowering stage okay generally in any mirch the commercial crop the flowering stage is the most economical in this particular crucial stage this fungal disease will will affect more in that particular mirch farming actually this stage uh, the, the particular flowering stage the fungus attack will be more generally what exactly the term means by dieback means from from the top side to bottom side the the plant uh, initially it will st um, uh, start from the plant top side and it will end up with the bottom side it will start dying from that flower stage and from flower to uh, it will come back to that um, um, uh, root system okay so uh, after that the plant will die actually this fungus is always um, uh, exist in the environment at right time uh, it will get it will attack on that uh, mirch plants and all by by the wind water and all the kind of um, things it will spread actually how we are going to manage this particular um, uh, kind of fungus seed means we have to select the disease free seed and we have to take the proper steps in seed treatment generally these seed treatments been done by two uh, two things one is for chemical uh, chemical method and another is for uh, uh, natural method we will see the natural method in this natural method we need to uh, treat the seeds with a trichoderma viridi it is it is also one kind of fungus but uh, applying the trichoderma viridi we, we have to follow some kind of um, uh, rules and all okay actually this is the fungus after applying this uh, fungus and all we can't able to apply for uh, chemical fung fungus fungicide for before seven days and after seven days okay if we apply that there is no need of uh, trichoderma viridae fungus okay it can't useful for a farmer okay it will die after that in that chemical method we need to we need to apply for um, good um, Sea treatments were there, chemicals were there, like generally the, uh, we will go for copper oxy chloride and it's a bacteria side and even though we will go for uh, some other chemicals uh, like uh, Bayer, uh, Evergold extend, okay, it is uh, having uh, trifluxostrobin, strobilian group and um, fenifluo, fen it is the paragel group this is the um, recent molecule it is in fs formulation so it will stop the fungal disease up to 30 days and um, it will enhance the root growth and all kind of things okay this is very good for um, seed treatment and all generally if you are observing um, a particular dieback problem in our uh, plants and all you have to apply copper oxychloride in market we will get in blytox and uh, after that, we will go for Syngenta company, Amistar top and score. Okay, this is also works very well. Actually, I applied these things. Actually, you need to apply this for um, a 10 days interval, two to three times. Once you observed that, then you have to apply the particular um, fungicide. Generally, per acre, it will come up to the score will come up to um, 120 ml and all. Then we will go for um, actually, I applied it for 70 to um, 80 ml. That is uh, enough. Okay, the, the another major problem is that if you are keep on giving excess water, okay, then there is a chance of um, fungus attack more. And if the water is very less, then also there may be a problem, okay, we will get this um, the fine fungus, okay. We can't able to keep the our plant in the stress, okay. If the plants are in stress, then there is a chance of uh, this fungus attack, okay. Generally, we have to observe one thing every day after 4 p.m. evening. If the plants are in dull stage, okay, that, that leaves are in downside means then 
the plants are telling us that it needs some water in that case only you have to spray some kind of um, the water and all here now generally two types of stresses were there okay one is biotic and another is abiotic biotic stresses means the, the problem of micronutrients and all the plant will can't able to make some food kind of thing that is called biotic okay and the other is that whenever that temperature is more than the that cold is more this kind of things are called abiotic stresses in this case whenever these stresses will more the plant easily get infected by this kind of fungus so we need to take the proper uh, uh, measurements okay the proper measurement to save our plant from uh, this kind of thing another thing whenever you are seeing some kind of um, disease infected plants in there you have to cut that um, collect the derbies and you have to collect it and you have to um, uh, burn it in some, some other place um far away from your um, plant okay that that measurement um, we will say our plants okay then in that case the, it it won't affect some uh, other kind of um, plants also which are which are not uh, affected generally at the time of humidity it is also affecting our plants in um, more thank you sir thanks for watching my my video please subscribe my channel